namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa namo tassa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhassa good morning everyone so today we shall continue with the previous lecture uh, from where we stopped about the kamaja rupas I'm sorry I was unable to give you a handout because I came very late to the monastery back after a very long journey. Uh, so, so far we discussed what is a karma. Kamaja rupas are the matter that is produced by karma. Then we moved on to explain what is a karma. Karma, uh, to become a karma, some chet chetana is the karma actually here. Uh, then that chetana has to have three characteristics in order to be termed as a karma that can give results, which has the cap capability or capacity of giving a result in future. These ca three characteristics are, uh, it has to be, uh, it is associated with a powerful consciousness called Javana Chitta and it has to arise in a mind stream where the latent tendencies has not been eradicated completely and uh, it also should have a shaman extra effort because Sahusah Bhava. Then if these three characteristics are found in any chetana, that has the capacity to give results in future lives. And then we moved on to explain, uh, it's not only the chetana that uh, determines the nature of these uh, vipakas, resultants, but the, its associates as well, such as the wisdom, uh, faith and so forth. Uh, karma can uh, result or give uh, birth to two types of uh, elements which are called Nam and Rupa. Uh, the mentalities which are produced by karma are called Vipaka, vipaka while the material stuff produced by karma are called Kammaja Rupa. So a Kamma can produce both Vipaka Chitta Chetasikas and Kammaja Rupas. Then it's also mentioned that uh, a Kamma done in the very same life cannot produce Kamaja Rupas in that life. So it's one of the uh, seem, it is one of the fundamentals mentioned by uh, mentioned in the Theravada tradition. Uh, but in terms of Vipaka Chittas, Kammas done in the same life can produce Vipakas in that very life. But for the Kamaja Rupas, it has to be a Kamma that has been done in a past life. It's not, not necessarily to be the uh, immediate past life, but uh, any life before that birth. Then we moved on to explain uh, what sort of chetanas has that capacity. So there are 20, altogether there are 33 chetanas, if you remember, 33 kusala chetanas are there, kus kamma chetanas are there. Uh, out of them, uh, only 25 can produce rupa. Uh, chetanas associated with four immaterial jhanas are not capable in producing kamaj rupas because uh, they are the meditation of detaching from the rupa. And magga chetanas, Supramandin Chetanas also do not produce any Kamaja Rupas because they are the detachment from both Nama and Rupa. It, it, it arises as a result of the practice of detaching from both Nama and Rupa. Nama Rupa Viraga Bhavana. So therefore out of the 33 uh, Kama Chetanas only 25 can produce Kamaja Rupa. So now we will move on today we will move on to explain what are the Kamaja Rupas? What are the Kamaja Rupas? According to the tradition, we have a 28 Rupas. 20 Rupas is, is, is constituted by with 18 Nipanna and 10 Anipanna. These are not real Rupas actually. Uh, if you talk about uh, rupas that can be termed as uh, originally, original means real rupas, right? That that deserves the term uh, to be called rupa. They are only anti eighteen in number. But in this lesson, from 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 while, while we study in Abhidhamma, we take the all twenty eight as rupas because it has been such anipana rupas has been explained as rupas in the Dhamma Sangani. Then. Uh, so out of the 28, we have 18 Kamaja Rupas, 18, out of the 28, 18 are Kamaja Rupas. It does not mean that all these 18 are produced only by Kamaja Rupas. 
18 can be produced by Kamajarupa. So, these 18 is, are the 8 Avinibhoga. I think you should remember 8 Avinibhoga are the Rupas that are found in every Kalapa. Patavi, Apo, Tejo, Vayo, Vanna, then Ganda, Rasa, Oja, these eight, Avinimboga. Then the Akasa Datu. Akasa Datu is also included. Akasa Datu here means among, if these are Kamaja Kalapas, if these are two Kamaja Kalapas, Kamaja Kalapa KK, this gap between the two Kalapas are also considered as Kamaja are also considered as Kamaja. It's, it's not a really Kamaja Rupa, it's sort of a consideration, sort of a consideration. Therefore, Kamaja uh, the gap between Kamaja Kalapas are called, are also considered to be produced by Kama, but it's actually, it's the original Ajita Kasa, the empty space that has been ex existing even before, before the rising of Kamaja Kalapas. So these nine, these nine can be produced by any cause can be produced by Kamma, Chitta, Uttu and Ahara. It's not necessarily that they are only produced by Kamma, but still they can be produced by, they are produced by Karma. So we have to call them, we have to include them in the Kamaj Rupas. Then the remaining nine, there is another nine, there are another nine Rupas, they are only produced by Kamma. So what are they? Five Pasada. Five Pasada means sensitivities. Five types of sensitivities. It means the eye sensitivity, ear sensitivity, nose sensitivity, tongue sensitivity, and the body sensitivity, which are sensitive to the uh, objects like sense objects. They are always produced by Kama. Mm. Then we move on to another two, two Bhava Rupa. Bhava Rupa means the element that determines our sex, our gender, whether someone is a male or a female. Then we move on to another Rupa called Vattu Rupa, Hade Vattu Rupa. Hade Vattu Rupa is the matter that supports the uh, mind consciousness, uh, Mano Vijnana. It means not the five, five types of sense consciousness, such as eye, eye consciousness, ear consciousness, uh, nose, tongue and body consciousness, which arise in the, on based on the sensitivities. Here we are talking about uh, another element, which is considered to be in the heart, according to the commentaries, but the Buddha has not mentioned exactly where it is in the Tipitaka. But a material thing, material rupa, that becomes the base for the mind consciousness to arise. Then we have another very specific rupa called Jivitindriya. Jivitindriya. This is the life faculty. It can also be called the vitality, which enables us to continue, uh, uh, which makes us our body to live, continue living. All, uh, last time I mentioned, all the Kamaj rupas can be said as vitality. Yes, that's true, because they do have such an ability to make the body to live. But among them, Jivitindriya is the most prominent among the realities which makes the body to, which causes, supports the body to continue. So all the Kamajarupas as a, as a whole support this body, but among them, the support given by Jivitindriya is very prominent, right? Then we shall discuss about them later. Now, these nine are called Ekanta Kamajarupas. Because they are only produced by karma. Ekanta means like they are only produced by karma. Like this, for surely they are produced by karma, not by any other cause. So the remaining nine 
which can be produced by any rupa, any, any cause, are called anekanta. So they are not, not certainly produced by karma. Anekanta Kamaja Rupa. This is how the 18 Kamaja Rupas are counted. 18 Kamaja Rupas. So, Avini Boga means the 8 Rupas, inseparable 8 Rupas that are found in every, every Kalapa. Then also the gap between Kamaja Kalapas are also considered as produced by karma. That is not actually, it's not produced by karma, but it's a way of consideration. So these, this is how the Kambaja Rupas, uh, the number of Kambaja Rupas are given in the Theravada tradition. Then uh, these Kambaja Rupas, when we think about the beans, in terms of the beans, now we have two types of beans, Sugati Satta. Ones who are born in blissful abodes, such as the human realm. Yeah, human realm is considered as a blissful abode, even though there's a lot of agony. Uh, then you can consider the agony in the woeful realms if this is a this is a blissful state. Then we dugati, dugati, satta. So these are the animals, peta beings, and so forth. Sugati are humans, devas, brahmas, and so forth. They have kamajarupas. Kamajarupa. If I if I mark Kamajarupa in yellow color, their bodies contain Kamaja Rupas. Every being has Kamajarupa if it possesses a body. Only Arupa beings doesn't have Kamajarupas. Right? All the beings other than the Arupa, immaterial beings have Kamajarupas. Now Kamajarupas, all the Kamajarupas in Sugati Sattas are produced by Kusala Kama. Produced by Kusala Kama. The Patisandhi of a Kama uh, Sugati bean is also given by a Kusala Kama, the Patisandhi rebirth, and also the Kamaj Rupas. But it doesn't mean that a Kusala Kamas doesn't result in Sugati beans. Yes, they do result in Sugati beans. A Kusala Vipakas does do, do right. The mentalities, the resultant mentalities of unwholesome deeds arise in Sugati beans, but with regard to the Kamaja Rupas, as in a Sugati bean, all the Kamaja Rupas produced in his body are produced by a Kusala Kama. And the same way, Dugati beans, all the Kamaja Rupas produced in a body are produced by a Akusala Kama. Are produced by a Kusala Kama as a whole. Right, but we are, we are not we haven't come yet to into the explanation of uh, santatis, the generations. We are talking as a, in, as a whole in a sugati being in a blissful in the blissful abodes. All the kamajarupas in the living beings are produced by kusala kamas. So it means our our kamajarupas, our bodies doesn't contain a kusala kamajarupas. Then someone can ask a question: that Sometimes beings become blind or deformed according to the tradition uh, due to the due to akusala kamas so that those are the utuja rupas now we we haven't discussed about them yet utuja rupas means the material produced by heat or coldness or that has been coming from the mother and father the, uh, our bodies gained from mother and father and because due to our, due to the food we consume so these rupas are deformed by a kamma that is a different phenomenon. So, uh, rupa, utuja rupas, affected by karma, and kamaj rupas, produced by karma. So, these are two different phenomena. Different phenomena. So, in sugati realms, beings, bodies, utuja rupas, can be affected by karma. So they may become attractive 
if kusala kammas are supporting them and sometimes they may become disattractive unattractive sorry unattractive attractive or they may have some deformations defects in their body according to the tradition that is a different phenomenon. We are talking about the production of Kamaj Rupas by Kammas. So, in terms of Kamaj Rupas, only Kusala, Kamaj Rupas produced by Kusala Kammas can exist in the bodies of blissful realm. Kamaj Rupas produced by Akusala Kammas, only the Kamaj Rupas produced by Akusala Kammas can exist in the woeful realms. It does not mean that the animals do not get the support of Kusala Kamma. Some animals like for example in the Jataka, some the Bodhisattva has become very attractive even as an animal due to the past deeds, good deeds that he has done. So the outer appearance that we see in a, in a living being, the most of the Rupas are, are Utuja Rupas, they are not produced by Karma. So there are four ways these Rupas can be, be gained these Rupas. The inter inner core of this Utuja Rupa, that is some part from my, our mother, father, and the food, uh, the food we consumed, or the food the food the uh, or the food mother consumed while we are in the womb. So these are the main four main sources that we gain this uh, Utuja Rupa, which is the core of our body. At the same time, when you go into uh, out uh, exposed to weather conditions, some sort of Rupas may appear in your body, but their generation may not last long. Now, in terms of, so affecting that essence, the core essence of Utuja Rupas is a different phenomenon. We are talking about Kamaja Rupas. Now, in this body, for example, white color ones are the, if I draw the Utuja Rupas. The yellow color ones are the Kamaja Rupas. So, Kamaja Rupas in, of a, a living being of, of a, in a blissful abode are only produced by Kusala Kammas. All the Kamaja Rupas in, a, in the woeful realm are produced by Akusala Kammas. That is a very basic fundamental that we have to keep in mind. This is not to deny the fact that our bodies are not affected by Akusala Kammas or their body, uh, the uh, Dugati beings' bodies are not affected by Kusala Kammas. No, not, it is not to deny that. It's not to mention that. This is that all the all two types of in, in both the realms, kusala, kusala, kammas can affect our bodies. That is a different phenomenon. This is called this is about producing of kamajarupas. In terms of kamajarupas, I'll repeat again, kusala kamma in sugati beans, only kusala kamajarupas are found, and in dugati beans, only akusala kamajarupas are found. So that is also a very important imperative fundamental that we have to keep in our mind. Then we move on to Kamaja Kalapas. Kamaja Kalapas now as a, as a very basic quality fundamental of the matter according to the Theravada tradition, every Rupa arises in clusters. Not only Rupa, every conditioned reality arises in clusters. None of them can appear alone by itself, appear alone. Uh, without, without a coexistence of other realities. So even the, it, it, this is valid even for Kamajarupas. So Kamajarupas appear in clusters. These clusters of Kamajarupas are called Kamajakalapa. We know the, uh, the word that we use for clusters is Kalapa. It can be Rupa Kalapa or Nama Kalapa. So uh, the clusters of Kamajarupas are called Kamajakalapa. And also we learned a fundamental in, in, uh, in a previous lecture that within a one kalapa, all the rupas are produced by the same major cause, right? It's, it's not that uh, some rupas in a certain kalapa is produced by a different cause while the other rupas are produced by a different cause. All the rupas within a one kalapa are produced by the same cause. Therefore, uh, if we talk about a kamaja kalapa, it means all the rupas in that kalapa are produced by the karma. There is no mixture of Kamaja Kalapa, Kamaja Rupa and Chitta Rupa in one Kalapa. Therefore, uh, we have to keep in mind the cluster of Kamaja Rupas is called a Kamaja Kalapa. It's called a Kamaja Kalapa. Then there is a very specific attribute of Kamaja Kalapas that we have to keep in mind. Every Kamaja Kalapa contains the Jivitendriya Rupa. The nine Rupas that we have discussed as Kamaja, 
every khalapa every kamaja khalapa contains jivitindriya rupa now cluster of cluster of kamaja khalapas is called a kam sorry cluster of kamaja rupas are called kamaja khalapa we draw this kamaja khalapa in yellow color for instance so they make they contain patavi apo tejo vayo sorry me by is better vayo vanna ganda rasa and oja so these are the eight so these are the avini boga kala avini boga that that rupas that are found in every kalapa according to the theravada commentaries in kamaja kalapas in addition to these eight jivitindriya is a must jivitindriya is a must so every kamaja kalapa contains jivitindriya therefore these nine we can call these nine kamaja avini boga rupas avini boga rupas means the rupas that are found in every kalapa it means if any kalapa is found these eight has to be there it's not that one of them will be reduced Politika Sadhu has a different opinion regarding the Brahma Rupa Ochar Brahma realm. He denies the fact that Gandha Rasa Ochar should be always there. Then, but we normally go with the commentary explanation here. Kamaja Avini Boga Rupas, but in terms of Kamaja Kalapas, you have to add Jivitindriya. Jivitindriya is there always, so we can term it as Kamaja Avini Boga Rupas, the inseparable matter in the Kam in Kamaja Kalapas. they are always found in there so that's also something we have to keep in mind always when we do the jivitindriya i'll be i'll be when we explain the kamaja kamaja rupas i'll i'll normally start with the jivitindriya because that is the uh, most vital uh, kamaja rupa for the sustaining of the body and it can, it is found in every kamaja khalapa uh, so we have to keep in mind uh, this uh, this nine that every kamaja kalapa contains jivitindriya rupa then we move on to kamaja kalapas there are nine kamaja kalapas there are nine kamaja kalapas it's better to memorize them in pali we call it chakku dasaka kalapa chakku dasaka dasaka means group of 10 that group of 10 which also has chakku chakku so how this 10 is made we know that every kamaja kalapa has 8 plus 1 it means 9 this one is jivitindriya so instead of saying 8 plus 9 8 plus 1 we may say 9 so this 9 includes patavi apo tejo vayu vannagandha rasa oja and jivitindriya because every kamaja kalapa contains jivitindriya so from here onwards we don't need to mention 8 plus 1 instead we can say 9 then we can it contains chakku pasada chakku pasada is eye sensitivity eye sensitivity every as every kamaja kalapa contains this 9 the difference is made by the extra additional rupa this kalapa other than the main nine the base nine of kamaja kalapas contain chakku pasada so it's called chakku dasaka kalapa the kalapa which is named or which is known based on the existence of chakku right 
So likewise, we have Dasaka Kalapas. Dasaka means group of 10. Sota Dasaka Kalapa. So Dasaka Kalapa is 9 plus Sota Pasada. Right, likewise, we have Gana Dasaka Kalapa. Nine plus Gana Pasada. So likewise, we have. I may just write down the names: Juha Dasaka Kalapa, then we have Kai Dasaka Kalapa. So these are the five sensitivities: nine plus Juha Pasada the tantan sensitivity, 9 plus body sensitivity is Kaya Dasaka Kalapas. Then we have, we have Itti Dasaka Kalapa. The Bhava Rupa, the element which determines our gender. So 9 plus this Rupa, 9, this is 9 plus Itti Bhava. Itti Bhava Rupa. Then we have Pum Bhava Dasaka Kalapa. Pum Dasaka Kalapa. Pum Dasaka Kalapa means we can also call Pum Bhava Dasaka Kalapa, Purisa Bhava Dasaka Kalapa, uh, the masculinity, masculine, masculinity, 9 plus Pum Bhava Rupa. Yeah, it's a Pum Bhava Dasaka, sorry. Pum Bhava Dasaka Kalapa. Then we also have, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Vattu Dasaka Kalapa. Vattu Dasaka Kalapa means uh, it contains 9 plus Hadevatu. Nine plus Hadevatu. Then we finally have Jivita Navaka Kalapa. Instead of 10, here is Navaka. Navaka means group of 9. It contains only 9 Rupas. No other additional Hamaja Rupa. We can fill the fill the chart if you want. Nine plus Juha Pasada and nine plus Kaya Pasada. These are the nine Kamaja Kalapas. Out of them, eight are Groups of 10, Dasaka, 1 is a group of 9, that is Navaka, right, it contains 9. So we can, later on we may discuss about these uh, Rupas and these Kalapas in detail. Then we move on to Santati, now this was Kalapa, Kamaj Rupa, Rupa produced by Karma, we discussed about the Karma last week. What is that karma? Any three things to, there are, there should be three things to uh, determine whether something is the, uh, what sort of karmas can produce the Kamaja Rupas. And uh, today we discuss about Kamaja Rupas and Kamaja Kalapas, the groups of Rupas, that uh, groups of Kamaja Rupas, units of Kamaja Rupas, they are nine in number. Then we come into Kamaja Santati. Kamaja Santati. Kamaja Santati means generation of Kamaja Rupas. Generation of Kamaja Rupas. Now, Chakku Dasaka Kalapas, that the Kalapas which contains eye sensitivity, arise in generations, one after another, produced by the past karma. 
so this generation is considered as a one lineage we call it chakku dasaka santati or chakku santati chakku santati generation of chakku generation of chakku dasaka kalapas so likewise every kalapa every kamaja kalapa has its own generation has its own generation so for the nine kamaja kalapas we have we have nine kamaja santatis nine generations so in a one santati you may have only one type of kalapa in one santati you have one type of kalapa it means chakku santati only contains chakku dasaka kalapa sota santati only contains sota dasaka kalapa and so forth uh, so there are nine uh, santatis uh, due to the due to nine based on nine types of uh, kamaja rupas so each and every santati does specific work if we go to kamaja kamaja santati kamaja santati so i'll just remind you because i was even able to this elaborate this point our lectures were sorry what is that huh? like in the yesterday we discussed about the karma what sort of karma which produce karma rupas the chetana it is, should have three characteristics and it uh, out of the 20 there are 25 types of such chetanas uh, and then out of them why some chetanas do not produce karma rupas that's that's that that was our discussion so today we explained about kamaja rupas there are 18 in number nine are only produced by kama nine can be produced by other other causes as well and within a being within a being of the woeful realm or blissful realm respectively they contain only kamaja kalapas produced by akusala kamas and kusala kamas respectively then kamaja kalapas kamaj kalapa are the uh, material units that are units of kamaj kamaj rupas and one kalapa uh, there are nine types of kamaj kalapas right then we come over to kamaj santati kamaj santati is a generation of kamaj kalapas generation of kamaj kalapas now if this is chakku dasaka kalapa it rises and passes away so while it is still alive another rupa may arise possibly not only single rupa many rupas so likewise this santati keeps on going so normally we may draw it like this but keep in mind that the following rupas arise while the first rupa is still alive so this is how kamaja santati is continue right so this this is a uh, so in a one generation only one type of kamaja kalapa exists only one type of kamaja kalapa can be found then there are nine types of such santati corresponding to the kamaja kalapa so we call them chakku santati you may call it chakku dasaka santati if you like sota santati generation of sota dasaka kalapas gana santati and juha santati khaya santati we have ittibhava santati pumbhava santati vattu santati and jivita santati jivita santati corresponds to jivita indriya jivita navaka kalapas jivita navaka kalapas so these are the nine santatis that we have in our bodies <coughs> and nine kalapas but a single person may can have only eight kalapas eight kamaja kalapas because both the gender kalapas may not be found in the same body the same as for the sa- the same for the kamaja santatis as well then these kamaja santatis do specific functions 
Chakku Santati helps seeing. Soto Santati helps hearing. Gana Santati helps smelling. Jiva Santati helps tasting. T A, right? Taste. Not testing, right? Tasting. Kaya Santati helps touching. Now, Itti Bhava Santati and Purisa Pumbhava Santati does the function of making the bodies feminine and masculine. It gives the appearance. Now, for that we need to come into an explanation that there are two types of bodies, either male or masculine or feminine. Some may not have a gender, but uh, that is uh, uh, a genderless person, but still it is very closer to the male body or sometimes it may be closer to the female body as well. Uh, but there is no such a distinct third type of gender. There is no distinct third type of gender in the world. Right? Either, either you have masculine or feminine uh, genders. Sometimes there are people who, can, who, who has both the sex organs, but uh, they are, according to Theravadians, they have one gender. Either, even though contain the organ, they, they may have the organ, both the organs, but he or she has to be either a male or a female. We shall discuss about this when we come to the topic of Bhavarupas. Ubato Bhyanjanaka we call. Ubato Bhyanjanaka. Uh, so these two uh, Rupas, Santatis, make uh, the body. So it is difficult to write in one word. Uh, they make the body feminine or masculine. Not only the Kamaj Rupas, the entire body. Even the Uthuja Rupas, when they construct our body, when they are formed into the body, body parts, they are shaped in a feminine or masculine way. So that is why when, when the scientists are able to just looking into the bones of a dead person long time before, they are able to determine whether this person is a male or a female. That is maybe they go into the DNAs and find out. At the same time, even the shape, the structure of the, even the skeletal structure of a male and a female is different. The structure is different. That's why even just by one glance, in most of the cases, we are able to determine whether someone is a male or a female. And it, it also changes the voice. We, we are able to determine whether a person, a person is a male or a female, just listen to the voice. So such a great change happens in our bodies, in our minds due to this Bhava Rupa. So this Bhava Rupa is the function of making the body, especially the body, it also, it also affects the mind. We can discuss about this when we come to the topic. Uh, determines, it, it causes the uh, living body to be either feminine or masculine. That is their function. Then Vattu Santati supports the consciousness. We can call mind consciousness. Mano Dhatu. Sorry, Mano Vijnana. Call. You can also be said Mano Dhatu and Mano Vijnana Dhatu, but an uh, uh, inclusive term would be Mano Vijnana. Mano Vijnana. It supports the mind being becoming a base, becoming the base for mind art, mind consciousness. It becomes the base for the mind consciousness, for it to arise, associate. Then Jivita, Jivita Santati. Jivita Santati has the function of sustaining the body, the sustaining, sustaining the living body, living organism. We are talking only about animals, not about the trees. So due to the support given by Jivita Santati, the body may sustain well. Body may sustain well. Then the next fundamental is uh, Santati. For example, if you take this as Chakku Santati. Chakku Santati, according to the tradition, is produced by a one comma. K1, for example, can be produced by one. It's not that some part of this santati is produced by 
one karma and this another part by another karma. Even at the change of the gender, as Dr. Ryan asked the question yesterday, the Theravada tradition was the idea the same karma is producing. The same karma is producing the entire santati, even while the gender has changed. So likewise, each and every santati is produced by a single uh, karma. That's very vital. Each and every santati is produced by a single karma. It's not that uh, one santati may be produced by two different karmas. Then the next fundamental is sometimes the entire, all the santatis in one body may be produced by a one karma. It's possible. The, all the karma rupas in a one santati can be produced by one karma. At the same time, different santatis may be produced by different karmas. But it's not, the, it's not possible according to the tradition that the same santati is produced by two different karmas. So that's the fundamental that we have to study in terms of santati. You know, it's not, now for the rupa kalapas as well, we study that one kalapa is produced by the same karma and uh, it may not contain other rupas. So likewise, there's nothing to say about the kalapas. Of, all the kalapas in one santati are produced by the same karma. And all the santatis, then various santatis may be produced by various karma, that is possible. At the same time, it is also possible that all the kamaja rupas, in a, all the kamaja santatis in a body be produced by a one karma. That is also another fundamental that we have to keep in mind. The santatis that originated originated from the birth, for example, this is the birth and death. So Kamaja Santatis continue throughout the life. It's considered as a one generation. It's considered as a one generation. We don't have Santati Pachupanna for Kamaja Rupas as well. It can be found only uh, based on the what type of Kamaja, uh, Chittaja, Utuja, Aharaja, Santatis they support. Based on the support they give to other santatis, we can uh, we can see sort of uh, santati pachupana in kamaja santatis, but in the absolute way, we just take it as a one generation throughout the entire life. So if we have adda pachupana of kamaja santatis. Now, if this is the chakku santati, this is produced by one karma. The sota santati, for instance, this is chakku santati. Sota Santati can also be produced by the same karma. It's possible. It's possible. And likewise, the, all the Kamaji Santati, the eight Kamaji Santatis may be produced by the same karma. But also, it is mentioned in the Dhamma Sangini Anutika and also the Kathavattu commentary. I shall be discussing this later. A different karma, K1, can produce a different Santati. For example, if you, if you think about... Uh, Vattu Santati, so, while Chakku and Sota are produced by different karma, Vattu Santati can be produced by different karma, which gives the Patisandhi. And there is also an explanation what Santatis are produced by the karma that gives the Patisandhi. We shall come to that explanation when we discuss about the Jivitindriya Rupa and Jivitindriya Santati. Yeah, so this will be the, uh, this is another fundamental that we have to keep in mind about the Kamaja Santatis. Kamaja Santatis, the, they are starting from the beginning, for example, some Kamaja Santatis may start few weeks after the birth in some beans, like the Chakku and Sota in the uh, Gabba Seyeka beans. So the previously arisen Rupas are a main cause, other than the Karma, the, previ the Karma is the cause for this entire Santati. So other than the Karma, the previously arisen Rupa are also a cause for the following Rupas are also a cause for the following rupas. Therefore, this Kamaja Santati is sometimes called as Kamaja Santati Sisa. Because the previous Kamaja Rupas in a Santati becomes the cause for the continuation. So what does it mean? If a Kamaja Santati is interrupted or broken, if it is destroyed, for example, may not arise again. It may not arise again because the previously arisen Kamaja Rupas is a necessary factor for the continuation of the 
continuation of the uh, uh, lineage. But for example, chitta the santatis, the one may attain into nirodha samapatti and the chitta the rupas may cease for some time. But after you wake up from the nirodha samapatti, chitta the santatis continue. But it's not like that. It's the phenomenon is different for the kamaja santatis. If the kamaja santatis is a, if one kamaja santatis is broken at a certain point, it may not arise again. So it's not only the kamma that is supporting the kamaja santati. The previously arisen rupas are also a vital factor. That's why kamaja santatis are also referred as kamaja santati sisa. Hmm? Kamaja santati sisa. So these are the facts that I would like to discuss. Uh, we today we talked about few fundamentals. Kamaja. We first discuss about Kamaja Rupas. They are eighteen in number. They are eighteen in number. Uh, yeah, nine are produced only by karma. Nine are produced by various uh, causes, including the karma. Then. Uh, in a sugati and dugati bean, in a sugati bean, all the kamaja rupas are produced by, uh, by kusala kammas. It can be different kusala kammas, but only kusala kammas. Dugati beans, only are kusala karmas. Then, units of kamaja rupas are called kamaja kalapas. Every kamaja kalapa contains jivitindriya rupa. So, these nine, including the eight plus jivitindriya, can be called as kamaja boga rupas. Then we moved on to uh, kalapas. Uh, there are nine types of kalapas, nine types of kamaja kalapas. Uh, out of nine, eight contains ten rupas, nine plus the special rupa, either chakku pasada, sota pasada, and so forth. And last kalapa contains only nine, that is eight plus jivitindriya. Corresponding to the nine kamaja kalapas, we have, we have nine kamaja santatis. A generation of a Kamaja Kalapa is a Kamaja Santati. We do not mix these Kantatis. One Santati contains only one type of Kalapa. Then each Santati has its own function. Chak like chak Chakku Santati supports seeing and Sota Santati supports hearing and so forth. Every Santati has its own function. Then the Santatis, uh, one Santati is produced by one single Kamma. It is also possible that one kamma may produce various santatis or even all the santatis in one body. At the same time, various kammas may produce various santatis as well, according to Kama Khatavattu commentary. And for the santati to continue, it is not only the kamma is vital, the previously arisen rupas are also important. If a santati is broken at a certain, certain place or certain stage, it is not possible that that santati may continue again, unlike the chitta de santatis and so forth. Therefore, uh, it shows that uh, this is how the kamma is acting in our body. Uh, so we may, it shows that our body is not a self, not a permanent thing, not a, not a fixed thing. It is continuing due to various causes and kamma plays a huge role. It also gives us the idea of uh, conditioned nature of the body. Yeah, this would be the lecture. I shall, next week I shall give you the handout because this weekend was a very busy one for me. Yeah. So next week, I shall talk about the phenomenon of craving, how craving determines the arising of Kamaja Rupas. It's a very nice lecture. It's a very nice topic. Uh, we have a lot of logics to show that how when correspond to the craving, when the craving is subdued, uh, some Kamaja Rupas may not arise in our life. So we may discuss about this uh, when we move into the, I hopefully, yeah. I am going to talk about it next week. Yeah, I will open the forum for the Q&A session. Thank you, Bhante San, 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 San. San, San. Uh, So hello everyone. As usual, if you have any question, you can raise your hand or you can put your question in the chat box. Uh, hi, Bhante. Hello. So um, are you going to talk about the genesis moments for each of the Kamaja Santati Bhante? Genesis more yes 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 sure will will be discussing yeah no about the uh, okay. jivit even about the jivita santati the genesis moment uh, there there is a uh, not specifically mentioned uh, 
uh, information, but I will bring a debate on this and give you all the information as much as possible to come into a conclusion. Other than that, other Santatis, I will I'll be discussing about them. Okay, thank you, Pante. And uh, the, what, another question is, Pante, so why is there a need for Jiwita Santati for human beings, Pante? Yeah. Because I can see the need for that for Asanya Sattva, mm -hmm. right? But then for human beings and maybe other other beings as well, we can we can find Jiwita Rupa in all of the Kamacha Rupas. And why there is a need for the Jiwita uh, Nawaka Kalapa? Mm. Yeah, it's, a, it's an important fact, it's an important question. Uh, because uh, Jivita Navaka has very fa various functions. It also acts as the, uh, the heat which digests our food and also it acts as a protective uh, buffer to, in our body from the diseases and it, 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 is, it is a very vital factor to determine our health. Uh, and According to the information that we get, uh, it's found that it's it's mentioned that jivita. It seems like the jivita navaka is very vital for the continuation. So one can ask the question because the kaya dasaka kalapas are spread all over the body, but still the need of jivita navaka was uh, is felt. Uh, so it has few functions. One is the digestion, and the other is to protect the uh, body from diseases and it to make it healthier for so it, it, it will be able to continue well. Uh, this is the factor and then uh, the debate becomes more controversial or di difficult to uh, determine when we come in to talk about what is the origin moment of Jivita Santati. So according to Lady Sayado uh, in the, the Abhidhamata Sangaha, uh, the Jivita Santati was discussed in the Brahma realm because they do not have a Kaya Santati. But Lady Sayadu suggests that uh, even the human realm needs this Santati. Uh, mainly uh, we can find two reasons that is for the digestion and for the health of the body, for the health of the body. I see. Thank you, Pante. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why I, <laughs> I asked about the Genesis moments of these yeah. because I read in one book. It just merely mentioned that the Jiwita Nawaka Kalapa happens after the Pati And that's it. It doesn't say exactly moment when. So. Yes. So we can, we, we, uh, I'll bring the debate on whether it can arise at the moment of Pati or we should, should it arise after the Pati We will bring all the evidences and uh, arguments and counter arguments for this factor. And in the end, uh, I'll leave it for the audience to decide uh, what what would be suitable. I will bring that uh, argument uh, in a future lecture. Okay, thank you, Pante. Sorry, sorry, sorry. And the other question is, Pante, about the Kamaja Santati mm -hmm. Sisa. Yeah. So, um, so how, how would we explain the situation of a person, you know, he, he or she may be blind for a short period of time or, you know, loses hearing for a short period of time? Yeah. Only for a short period. Yes. So, it's according, if you go into the fundamentals of the Theravada teachings, it seems like some other factor has obstructed her or his sight. That's how we have to explain. If the Kamaja Santatis were completely destroyed, according to the fundamental, it's not possible that the Kamaja Rupas may arise again because the support of the Santati is broken now. Uh, so, in that case, either Utuja Rupas are not functioning uh, and the Kama may uh, appear Kama may obstruct by uh, causing some sort of Utujarupas to disturb the uh, sight or uh, there is a mechanism in the body, so that mechanism is interrupted. So that is how we have to explain mainly based on the disruption of the Utujarupas or sometimes even the Kamajarupas may malfunction, there is a possibility malfunction. Uh, by interrupted by a one karma. But if it is completely destroyed, then it is a huge, now that is why the Jivita, sant, now if, if Kamaja Santati does not appear in the rebirth or when, when it was, when it was, uh, when it has to appear, 
except for one case that is the Adikapika, like the humans in the beginning of the eon, they got the bhava later on, right? They got the bhava while they were living because they got defilements, except in this case. Uh, in other cases, it says uh, when they are supposed to arise, they have to arise. If they delayed, if they get delayed to arise, they are not going to happen anymore. Uh, so, their arising moment also plays a huge vital moment because before that, Chakudasaka Kalapa did not have any support of the Chakudasaka Kalapa, but there is a specific day or a time that they should arise. After they have arisen, this Santati is supporting the future Rupas of that generation. Uh, so, the information that we get from the literature suggests that the generation if it is completely broken, not interrupted, broken, it is not going to happen again. But then another, another counter question can be raised. We know that during the, when the Bodhisattva was born, so there were some special miracles happen in the world. So it says that the Jati Andas could see, right, the ones who uh, blind by birth started to see. I do not know whether it was some sort of a uh, inc incident that happened on that moment, so they, they, they started to see but then again they became blind. Now, they, they, they could see, they could have a vision uh, maybe through mindo and they could see the world, the colors and so forth and they became blind again like uh, the hell beans when the, uh, when, when psychic monks go and make them much blissful, pour them water for a shorter period. Maybe that was a reason or if they happen to get the eyesight again. Uh, then two suggestions are possible. The Kamaja Santati has newly arisen, which is a very, uh, which contradicts with the fundamentals that we have today. Uh, and otherwise, these Jatyandas, some who were b blind by birth, uh, already had the Kamaja Rupas, but they were interrupted by, so that, for example, it can be interrupted according to the teachings. The words were given semha, like like by some kind of phlegm or some kind of uh, elements, utuja elements may interrupt the sight. So that interruption is removed. So that is what normally uh, in jatakas or in any story, if someone gives them the sight, they are removing the utuja obstacle for the sight. It's not that they are causing the kamaja santatis to happen again. And then the, another question comes that when the Bodhisattva gave the eye to others, they, 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 could, they could see. Uh, it is a very, very vital point. So, has the Kamaja Santati arisen later on, which I am unable to answer. Uh, so, this is how the Samaja Santati Sisa idea is quite, quite uh, famous in the, in the, within the tradition. And Delhi Sado has termed it as Samaja Santati Sisa. I'll, when I give you the handout, I'll give you the reference as well. It says, Kamaja Santati Sisa says, Patisandhi Kalato Pattaya Uppanna, Ekeka Kamaja Santati Nama Ati. So, there are various Kamaja generations that happen from the moment of Patisandhi, close to Patisandhi or moment of Patisandhi. Sa Pacha, later on, that Santati, Aparaparan, Tadisaya Kamaja Rupa Santatiya Pavattaya Sisa Bhutatta. So, that is the head, that is the main reason for the following Kamaja Santati is to happen. Thadisaya Kamaja Rupa Santatiya, Pavatattaya, Sisa Bhutata, Santati Sisanti Vuchati. So that is called Santati Sisa. So each Kamaja Santati Sisa uh, is necessary for, for its following uh, Kamaja Santatis. Uh, so therefore, that is it is it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult question to answer, uh, but according to the tradition, if the Santati is broken, it may not happen again. I see. Thank you, Pante Sabi Sabi. Please go ahead, Sayale Pumya. Uh, good morning, Bande. Good morning, Sayale. Uh, so I just want to be sure I, I heard it correct or not. So, uh, when you explain the Jaku Sandadi, you gave. Uh, Three, three explanations, right? So the first one is, you said each Santati is produced by single Gamma, right? Yes, yes. And the second one is, each Gamma can produce many Santati. Yes, exactly. And the third one is, each Gamma produ 
produces one sanadi. No. Uh, the, the different kammas can produce different sanadis as well. Different kammas. Yeah. For example, uh, there is a possibility that my all my kammas and sanadis are produced by the same karma. And also there is a possibility that eight kammas and sanadis that I have are produced by four different kammas. So, so both are possible. It means one uh, kamma has the cap capacity to produce two or more santatis, but not a one santati is produced by two or more kammas. I see. Mm. So I, I'm a bit during beginning of the class, you said if the person is blind from birth, so we, we consider it is like a wuduja, that part? No, no, no. The question was now if someone could get the sight back. No, 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 in the beginning of the class, you okay. said if someone is blind from birth, uh -huh. you said it is because of Uduja, it's not a Dhamma Jha. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. It's like this. Now, if someone has uh, uh, defects, for example, deformations like the uh, crooked hand or some, some sort of uh, deformations in the body, that is according to the sutras is basically because of the past akusala kamma that he has done, especially harming others. So in this case, it's not the kammaja rupas which got deformed, it's the utuja rupa. The kamma is effecting the utuja rupas, so the body is uh, unpleasant or appears in a different way, different manner to that of a normal person. Then uh, if someone is blind by birth, that is because the kammaja rupas are not produced by a kamma not produced by a karma. So I was talking about every being in the blissful realm, Sugati being, all the karma rupas are produced by Kusala karma. But we know that in the Sugati, some are Kusala karma. Our bodies are formed by some are Kusala karma, formed due to Akusala karma. So if some, someone is crooked from by birth, Buddha would say, the suttas say, that he became so and so because of past Akusala. Right? So, in that case, it's not, it's not that the Akusala Kamma is producing Kamma Jarupa, it's affecting our Utuja body. It's affecting our Utuja body. And sometimes he may, he may have a very malfunctioning eye, eyeball, that is Utuja Rupas are there. So, the eye Kamma is affecting them. But even though Akusala Kammas have affected the body of such a person, a human, all the Kamma Jarupas in his body are produced by Kusala Kamas. So that's what I, the message I want to mention. All the Kamaj Rupas in blissful realm are produced by Kusala Kamas, but still their body can be affected by Akusala Kamas. The same has to be understood in the reverse order for the beings in the woeful realm. Oh, I see. Because generally when we read the Sudas, we obviously yeah. Kamena. Yeah, that's, that's right. That's right. Why. That's why. Right. Confused about this. Right. So we, I'll, I shall explain this at the end of the Kamaja Rupa lesson. The kammas that affect the body, the affects the other Rupas. Ka, rupas affected by Karma. Now for instance, uh, in, in Nidhikanda Sutta, Buddha mentioned, because of good Kusala Kama, you get pleasant voice. So voice is either, Sadda Rupa is either Utuja or Chittaja, right? Sadda is, is Utuja or Chittaja. So how can Kama causes this pleasantness? What, what, is, what has happened is, Kamma has affected our Utuja Rupas. So, when the Utuja Rupas are forming our body, it got formed into a, into a, uh, into a, it got formed in a manner that facilitates sweet voice. That facilitates sweet voice. So, voice is a production of the Chitta. The proximate cause of voice is Chitta. And it is, it needs the support of the Utuja Rupas, the throat and everything, Utuja Rupas, it's, it's way of form, uh, way of, uh, it's, uh, the, it's figure. That figure, now Utuja Rupas, when the food that we eat, when it is uh, transforming into the cells of the throat, that shape was given by the karma. So it, karma is affecting the body. So likewise, we need to know when you especially go into sutras and say, someone is beautiful due to karma, someone is ugly due to karma, someone has a pleasant voice and so forth. 
we have to understand the effect of karma, not the karmaja rupas. No, first being is first, is person, first, person. first king is Manu. First king, I, I think the first uh, Manusa is we call the, the Malua. No, Manusa, Apacham Putto Manusa, right? In Pali you study, yeah. right? Atadita. Yeah. So, Apacham Putto, the, the, the grammar books explain, here Apacham doesn't mean his children. He considered, he, because Manu was the first king, and he considered his uh, subject, his, his followers, like the subject, as his son. So, it was considered as his son. So, that's why the lineage of humans, we normally say, originated from Manu. But it's not as the father, as the king. That's the grammatical explanation on this. Yeah, but that king, like when we say the Aganya Suda, mm -hmm. in the Aganya Suda, when the people they had a fighting or, or yeah, they had yeah. an argument, uh, so uh, they need someone to make right, a judgment right, also. Right. So that, he was the first? No, that king was Manu. Um, Mahasamata, he was called. Yeah, Mahasamata. Uh, yeah, and also he was called Manu. Uh, he is the first king. No, he was not the first human. Uh, but he's not, a body. he's not our Bodhisattva. Some, some books say he was the Bodhisattva. Some stories I have heard. About Bodhisattva's past life. Yeah, but, but someone looks like he's not like a Bodhisattva, I also read something, someone said he's Bodhisattva. Yeah, I have read some say he's the Bodhisattva. Even uh, Mahatera used to say this in Dhamma talk, that the Bodhisattva was the first king of the, of the, uh, of the yon. Ah, I see. Okay, so, okay. Man uh, is called uh, also the Antakkalpa, you know, Antarkalpa, the, the kappas between uh, yes. right, rising and falling of the human age. So, each kappa, according to Paramatha Deepani, is called man antvar, man antakkappa, man vantakkappa we call. Manu antakkappa is man vantakkappa, sandhi. Because each, each of these kappa, rising and falling, the human age, is, has such a king. It's another opinion of teachers. But some says it has to happen in the beginning of the eon. It's like uh, when the world origin originated. So when the beings came from the Abhasara, they had a king and the lineage continued. So that is the Manu. But some says, no, not only the beginning, at the beginning of every Antakkappa, when the human lifespan increases to Asankhya and drops down, during that age, we have a, such a great king. So, so there are two opinions on this. So, uh, uh, somehow, some books say that uh, that king of, uh, was Bodhisattva. I see. Okay. So, actually, I have following the same question regarding the Gappa part. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but the Gappa generally was the Iran, right? Iran, Iran, yeah. So, but in the, in, in the uh, Mahabharani Balasuda, when the Buddha mentioned, if you if you wish, I can live like uh, one Gappa or something. But that Gappa is like a refer 120 years or yeah, one, yeah. 120 years, right? Yeah, yes. But in other places, which was like, there was a word Gappa with uh, Iran or two Iran or, or Asantia Iran. Is, so, in that case, how can we decide? So, there are four, four meanings for kappa, Sally. Four meanings for kappa. One is maha kappa. That is, a world is origin, world originates and destroys. That the entire world cycle is called maha kappa. So, then from origin to another origin, the lifespan. Right? World origins, it takes long time. Then it, it, it remains as, as now. Then it destructs, it, it burns or it gets destroyed for a long period and the empty space remains for a long period. So these all four phases are called Mahakappa. So it's another interesting topic in the Theravada tradition. Now this is the world origins. And this is world number one. And world number two. Origin. 
origin in. Then in a one, so this one origin, then sustaining. The world continues as it is. Then destruction. Right? Falling down. Then empty space. Nothing is there. Then again the world origins. This world number two. So here to here. number one from here to here is called Mahakapa then each four space for, for uh, one of these uh, or each of these phase is called Asankeya Kappa so these are equal in period Asankhya Kappa, right? Then within one Asankhya Kappa, within one Asankhya Kappa, the human lifespan from high level to drop to age 10 from Asankhya, then increase to Asankhya again, drops. So likewise, it takes to, according to some scholars, six, according to the commentaries, some commentaries, Diga Nikaya commentary, 64 times. 64 times this increasing and decreasing happens. According to Kathavattu Kamari, 20 times. Right? According to Veda, 16 times. Anyway, so this increasing and decreasing happens. So the Manu, the question you asked, according to the Sutra, Agganya Sutta, Buddha talking about a Manu here. But some scholars say, not only here, in every peak, we have a Manu. This is another opinion. Every peak, we have a Manu. This time it takes for lifespan to decrease from Asankhya to 10 and increase to again Asankhya. Or uh, increase from 10 and again reduce to 10. So this period, one, one phase. I may draw it with another color. This face is called Antarkappa. Antarkappa in Pali. This is Asankhya Kappa. This Antarkappa is a one face. This is the Mahakappa. Then during this increasing and decreasing, the lifespan of, a, of any being, lifespan of any being, Lifespan of any being is called Ayu Kappa. So for humans, this is it re reduces to 10 and it increases to Asankhya, and these days it's 70s, 80s, or 4. That is Ayu Kappa. The lifespan of a certain species. In the hell, the life Ayu Kappa is different. In the Chatu Maharajika, Ayu Kappa is different. So when Buddha said, if he wishes, he could stay for a Kappa. And little bit more, he was referring to Ayukappa, according to the Diga Nikaya commentary. The Mahasiva, the ancient commentator, suggests that he was referring to a Mahakappa. But the, the Diga Nikaya commentary refutes this idea and says, no, it was Ayukappa. So either he could have lived for 100 years, because Ayukappa was 100 at that time, of another one-fifth. Because normally a Buddha lives for one five-fourth of his Ayukappa. So that's why he passed away at 80. But instead, the lifespan was 100. If you look into Buddha Vansapali and all, they say the Buddha say that he was he has a 100 year lifespan, but he lived for 80 years only. Then either he could live the entire lifespan or another one fifth. So if he lived for entire lifespan, he could have lived for 100 years, another one fifth is 120 years. Why do Buddhas pass away at this age? Because they, it's not pleasant for the world to see the decaying of a Buddha. 
So it's a law of the nature that they passed away when uh, four-fifths of the lifespan has passed, unless someone invites them. They may live for the, end, uh, the remaining part with the power of their palasamapatti. So when the Buddha, Bodhisattva, Buddha said the uh, one who uh, breaks the Sangha would suffer for a kappa in the hell, he is referring to the ayukappa of the hell. That ayukappa in the avici is, is equal to antra kappa, that is a different case. But when at the same time he mentioned a person who unites the Sangha would enjoy the bliss for a kappa in Sagha means when whatever the realm he is born in the divine realm, he would live the entire lifespan without uh, interrupting death, uh, uh, untimely death, that he may enjoy the entire lifespan. So whenever we read the word kappa, we have to determine whether it's maha kappa, asankhya kappa, anta kappa, antar kalpa, or ayu kappa. So that's 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 a place that we have to be. Uh, careful and get the meaning according. Oh, thank you so much. Sada, 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 Sada. Sada, Sada, Sada. Thank you, Pante. And the, uh, the last question is, Pante, is it possible for one to have more superior Kamacha Rupa, for example, healthier body or good eyesight or good voice due to more superior past Kama made? Yes, can, can, that's for sure. But always Kamaj Rupas, when we come into discuss about the Lahuta Muduta Kamanyata, based on the information of Paramatta Deepani, it says Kamaj Rupas are always soft, soft means always lighter, always soft, and always uh, uh, adaptable. Uh, but there are superiority and inferiority in the Kamaj Rupas based on the Kamma that gives the uh, produces them, that produces them. So, uh, higher eyesight, higher ear hearing ability may be there. But, and it says Bodhisattvas had a very strong eyesight, powerful eyesight due to the kammas that he has done in the past. So, it's, it's and also the healthiness of the body can be affected uh, by the kamajarupas, uh, the jivita indriya, jivita navakas produced by good karmas. Uh, yes, that is a, a it's also mentioned in the text that uh, one gets uh, superior Kamajarupas. Okay, thank you, Pandey San, San, San. Yes, um, yeah, there is no more questions. Okay, so uh, we shall conclude. So we are talking about how the Kamma is affecting our body. At the end of these lectures about Kamajarupas, we may discuss how the Kamma is affecting the entire body, not only the Kamajarupas. So I hope you got some idea with these lectures. So the takeaway part is, uh, if you are unable to grab all the information, if you are getting, want to get some, some idea, at least keep in mind, there are some rupas produced by Kamma in our bodies and for the living, if blissful beings, all the Kamma rupas are produced by a Kusala Kamma. For the woeful beings, all the Kamma rupas are produced by a Kusala Kammas and they do perform certain functions in our body and they play a huge role. So it's Kamma is playing a vital role in our body. When we come into the Jeevit Indriya Rupa, we may discuss, it also determines, it also whether the, uh, the, our life or death is determined with the, with the existence of Kamma Rupas in our body. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy the lecture. Uh, I wish you all the best and may this merit help us to attain the Nirvana and for the sustaining of the Buddha Sasana and may the peace prevail in the entire world and may all human beings be freed from suffering. Buddha Sasanam Chirantitatu Buddha Sasanam Chirantitatu Buddha Sasanam Chirantitatu Sadhu Sadhu Sadhu